Hello friends, welcome to the Azure DevOps tutorial series. In this tutorial, we will see what is Azure DevOps. In the previous tutorial, we have seen about the DevOps and how the DevOps works into the real market. I have already created one separate video on the DevOps where we have seen like what is the DevOps and how it gives the benefit to the real market and in the live project and apart from this we have seen like the life cycle of the devops and the different type of tools that available and help in the devops operation so all those things we have seen in that video so i recommend you please go to that video and see like how the devops works and i have given that video link in my description section as well so let's understand like what is the azure devops so basically azure devops is help us to make a product as a plan like we can plan it very smoothly and very mostly accurate like when we have to deliver because this azure devops give us many tools to for every steps like for the planning and um, like for the planning and the for the testing and for deployment so for every step or every life cycle of the azure devops it it provide the tools so they do the take care of that and apart from this with the azure devops we can do the team collaboration and the product delivery is also faster so that is the azure devops and basically azure is a leading cloud service provider and azure devops is the like in the past this azure devops known as vsts means visual studio team service and before known as uh, this vsts and then later in 2010 the VSTS they have changed into the Azure DevOps way basically in this VSTS the place where we assemble product from start to finish like we do the planning and till the deploy and delivery of that product everything is ha happen inside the Azure DevOps and apart from this Azure DevOps is a single pl platform that helps every software developer team to design application with the agile process and apart from this this azure devops help us to oversee code utilizing get test the application and deploy code using the cicd framework so basically like this azure devops from the planning and to the delivery as i, ha I have told it do everything using the tool like for every step there is a tool that help us to do everything in the simple way we can say like dev uh, DevOps is like development team and the operation team that we have seen in the previous tutorial like that is the biggest advantage of this DevOps it means like um, the development team and the operation teams works together so it fulfill the gap that comes under the agile process and it is help us to like plan co uh, collaborate better and delivery of the product faster and this Azure DevOps is basically designed and managed by the Microsoft so that is the uh, Azure DevOps and the next is like we will see like what is the advantage or like what for, but before that we will say like what is the difference between Azure and the Azure DevOps so basically Azure is a cloud solution which provide lot of services and the feature and that is used to help organization during the development of a product by providing the multiple tools and the technologies as i explained before like this azure is basically uh, it's a uh, cl uh, cloud solution so basically what happened here like we want to develop a product and deliver to the customer so for every um, steps like planning then we do the implementation of that product then we do the testing and then we do the deployment so every steps contain one tool and with that tool it help us to like make that product better and azure devops is basically a part of the or service of azure so th that is basically this azure devops is the part of the azure so that is the difference between azure and azure devops now let's see like what all are the services mm, comes under this azure devops so once we will start working on this azure with practically then majorly we will understand about the like how this azure devops services works we will see those things step by step but as of now we will see like what is the azure devops service so basically there are five type of the services available in azure devops so first is the azure board so under this azure 
boards basically we do the like uh, all the things like the work item which we are going to assign to the developer like uh, what all are the um, like the particular like after the planning basically all the planning happen in this azure boards here we do assign the user story to the developer and we assign the features to the developer like like for particular sprint what kind of work we are going to do and what kind of work we are going to deliver to the uh, like a customer so the, all those planning and the assignment of the work comes under this azure boards and we will see like how we assign those works uh, to the development team that we will see in the coming videos and the next service comes as a azure repos so basically here what happen every work like every user story contain one branch and based on that branch we commit the code to the main branch and from this main branch basically it goes to the deployment so under this azure rep repo we it's related to the basically code where we commit our code into the server the next service azure pipeline so here what basically what happened it like azure uh, repo we uh, like uh, commit the code to the server so from that server this azure pipeline what it do it take the code and push it into the test plan the next service is the azure test plan so we, here what happened like it take the code through pipeline and do the testing like unit testing it continuously testing happen and anything fail like it do the testing as a like if we have commit any code related to the sql so it do the testing for the sql any api we have checked in or committed the code related to the api so it do the testing for that so all these things happen under this azure test plan and the next come as um, azure artifact so here in azure artifact we check the packages like the version of the package like there should not be any mismatch between the development environment and the production environment or the test environment so everything all those packages are taken care under this artifacts so these are the basically service and every service has their responsibility we will talk all the services in brief in the coming videos and the next is like azure devops server so basically azure devops servers previously named visual studio team foundation server and it is the like basically this vst um, like vsts uh, is the on premises version of the azure devops service and basically there are two type of the server configuration one is the cloud and another is the on premises so basically on the cloud like if we don't want to keep the code on the like local or any other place so what we can do we can keep that code on the cloud so that is the one server configuration and another is the on premises like if we can keep that code on particular machine or on local so those comes under the on premises so these are the server configuration for azure devops and the next is like what is the difference between the like vsts to azure devops because i have already explained like in 2018 and like they had renamed this vsts to the azure devops so in september 10 2018 microsoft renamed this vsts into the azure service then what all are the naming convention has done like what they uh, renamed the um, like uh, particular things like before we used to call as a build and release now in azure devops we call it as a azure pipeline and like before we used to call as a code now this told as a rep repos or repository we can say work they called called as a azure board test as a azure test plans and packages as a azure artifacts so basically these are the services like we have uh, like in a bit before we have already explained like what all are the responsibility comes under the services so these are the things so th that's it for this tutorial if you have any question and doubt please comment thank you